An estimated 25 million people around the world are taking statins to keep their cholesterol levels in check. Statins are the largest selling class of drugs in the world, with sales of at least $22 billion a year. Statin drugs are not only big business, now they are big news. For years, statins have been prescribed for patients with high cholesterol to help prevent blockages in the arteries and lower the risk of heart attack and stroke. But a new study found they would help ward off heart disease in another 25 to 30 percent of patients. According to the manufacturer that paid for the study, 32 million people with normal cholesterol levels but with signs of inflammation in the blood vessels would benefit from a statin. The Jupiter study, as it is called, included 18,000 people and was so conclusive it was halted after two years. Cardiologist David Pearl of Georgetown University Hospital in Washington, D.C., says statin drugs will now be seen as an even more credible tool in preventive medicine. What we're trying to do is target an earlier phase of of the disease so that we can treat people before they have a heart attack or a sudden death or need an angioplasty or need a bypass operation. The study found that by taking a statin, patients with normal cholesterol levels but with high levels of C-reactive protein lowered their risk of a heart attack by 54 percent. C-reactive protein is found in the blood when there is arterial inflammation. The study focused on the generic drug rosuvastatin, sold under the brand name of Crestor. While the study was independently conducted, it was funded by the company which makes Crestor. Crestor is relatively new among the many statins on the market. It is also one of the most expensive in a class of high-priced drugs. Dr. Pearl says doctors and patients may have to weigh the benefits versus the cost and the risks of the drug. No drug is without side effects. These are well-tolerated drugs, but there will be a cost to, to be paid in terms of side effects as well as in terms of money. Over time, statin drugs can affect the liver. Other studies have also shown a small increase in the rate of diabetes. Dr. Pearl says the new findings do not mean that everyone with normal cholesterol levels should be taking a statin. Only those, he says, who show an inflammation of the blood vessels. More and more doctors, he predicts, will be calling for the separate blood test to identify C-reactive protein as part of the routine exam. Melinda Smith, VOA News.